Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not having a good day today. I just recorded a video dismantling this whole Honda 3000i. This handy inverter, which is a pain to even work with, but the problem is, is my footage got corrupted. So, today's video is just going to show you how to adjust the valves on a Predator, no. a Honda 3000i inverter. Now, I already sprayed carburetor cleaner in it and got all the basic stuff done. I tested for spark, it had spark. Now, if you're watching this, I might have had saveable footage, I don't know. Right now, I'm just removing these clips on top so I could take this off. to get to those valves. There we go. Now we have full valve access. I'll check the oil. Well, like I said in my corrupted footage, uh, it had sparks, so there's nothing yet. It has oil. Saying it's a, you know, it's a, it's a valve issue. So we're gonna adjust the valves on this. I do have, cause it popped and it wouldn't start. I sprayed carburetor cleaner directly into it and would not pop at all. I still have to get a hold of the customer and ask if they even want to pay for it. Should've done that before I even took it apart, but we'll charge a diagnose fee and get it 100% confirmed in this video. What's wrong with this thing? I'm gonna take a quick break and come back. Okay, let's get right into this valve adjustment. And we'll see what comes when I take this off, what it looks like. I'm hoping it's obvious to me. But you never know. Sometimes you have to go digging for the problem. Give me that. Okay, I'm gonna have to, or I can fix that. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you down. Actually, I might get my wife in here to help me too. So let me call my wife in here. Okay, I just called my wife, I'm waiting for her. She's gonna be the puller while I look. And you'll look too, let's see. I told her to come on. She needs to hurry up, LOL. Oh, goodness gracious. But I mean, I can do it myself, but it's hard to see while I'm trying to pull it. I want to see if one of these is stuck. Babe. Hi. Hi. I need you to pull on that pull cord lightly. Not like you're starting it, just lightly. Come on. I am. No, pull it. Turn that some bitch. There we go. Hang on. Okay, pull it again. Hang on. The intake might be a little stuck. Okay, pull it again. That one's loose, but is it loose because it's loose or is it loose because it's stuck? Okay, one more time slowly. Right there, stop. That one's tight. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Okay, so let me get this valve right. Then I'm going to try it. I'm actually going to remove this tappet here. Ten millimeter. And I'm just going to remove this whole tappet. I know this one's really tight. 
I'll get the the adjustments out in a second, but I want to remove this whole tap it here so I can just look at this valve. I want to try to pull up on it and see if it's stuck up. If it moves up a little bit, it could have just been a partially stuck valve. That seems to be fine. Push it down. Also, Andrew, that Reddit post you left reacted was fine. I figured. <laughs> I, I was telling my wife, I was like, who's spamming the Kingman subreddit with all that liberal stuff? My sister-in-law is a damn Democrat. She don't watch my videos, so that's good. Oh. Okay, I think that valve was good. I think it just was out of adjustment. So let's put it back on and let's get our adjustment out. Link in the description as always to any of the stuff I use. And we'll get these valves adjusted. Now this part is the adjuster here. I don't like this style too much because unlike the other one, as you tighten the 10 millimeter, it will tighten this adjuster. So you gotta hold it. Unlike the other one, you just tighten the lock nut and the, the middle piece doesn't move at all. So this way we can, okay. We got them both loose. That one's a little tight actually now. There we go. Now we can push them down and adjust them. I'm just gonna go six and eight, zero, zero, six, zero, zero, eight. Six on the intake, eight on the exhaust. that now see I spun it now now it's tight Oh, did they? They did. Oh, damn. So I created my own, but, but I'm, I don't go fuck anymore. I'll post what I want. I feel it. The problem. It has been inactive for like an entire year. And then I start posting in it last month and it gets all these traction. I know, right? They should be happy about that. They're little bitches. people online at one time one time I don't know what they were doing they weren't commenting or anything check out the Kingman subreddit if you want to see registered live what she's posting <laughs> okay I believe I got the intake done yeah, it's not loose anymore. Now we'll do the exhaust side. Which was a little tight. And then we'll put the valve cover back on. Try to start it. If it starts up, we did mission successful. cover back on
I ripped that cork gasket a little bit. It's not that big of a deal at the moment. We'll find another one to put on it. For now, I just want to make sure that we actually got it done. There we go. Because now if she starts and runs, we can finish. We can finish up the job by putting it back together and going from there. Okay. So now let's see if we can get her to pop over. I have the carburetor dismantled a little bit. It won't be that big of a deal. It's on choke already, so. Okay, had to choke it out because I have to switch off. But there we go, we're done. We got it fixed. Now I just gotta put it back together. That's the fun part. But it was just a valve adjustment. Like I could tell, I could always tell when it's just a valve adjustment. I will remove this valve cover gasket to replace that cork. But other than that, this is mission successful. I will go ahead and put it back together off camera because if you got this far, it's easy to do. But if you have a Honda EU 3000, you spray carburetor cleaner in it, it doesn't start. You check for spark, it has spark. We heard a backfire in my corrupted footage, but it's the valve always the valves ladies and gentlemen so we got this thing running and you'll see one more clip tomorrow morning of me starting it up after it's all put back together but boy oh boy pain in the butt so hey thanks for watching appreciate you and i hope to see you guys on my next video